Be sure to watch my email message rule training video because this is an extension of it and it's about how to forward emails automatically based on certain conditions that you set. So for example, let's come up here on the Home tab to the Move group, click on Rules, and we can't create a rule because this one's based upon messages that are selected down below in my inbox here. That's okay, you can still create a new rule, just not based upon a message. And to do that, you can click on Manage Rules and Alerts, and then you get the New Rule button here. Go ahead and click on it. And step one, let's come down and start from a blank rule and say that we want to apply this rule on messages I receive. Click Next. And it's got to be from, let's check it, from People or Public Group. And it's going to have specific words in the subject, like let's say, New Investigation because when Carrie sends me that email, I'd like to include Mr. Humphreys in on it, so instead of like after she sends it to me, maybe a couple days later, I remember, oh yeah, that's right, we gotta go ahead and include Mr. Humphreys. I want it automatically done for me that the moment I get that from her, with those key words, it automatically forwards the email message on to Mr. Humphreys so he can get the option to be included in the new ghost hunting investigation. So, with these two conditions selected, Let's go down below and define those conditions, like with people or public group. Click on the link, and it's going to be from Carrie. So come up here, double click, and click OK. So when it's from her with specific words, and let's define those specific words, new investigation, and click add, it's going to meet both those conditions. It has to have new and investigation. Because if I typed in new and added it, and investigation and added it, it could be either or. It could be like a new product, and Mr. Humphreys would automatically get that email. I don't want him to get emails with new anything. It's got to be specifically new investigation. So let's go ahead and click OK. Updates it down below. You want to change it, click on the link again. You can make your changes, select it, remove it, add some more. I want to keep it simple here. Then click Next. What do you want to do with the message? I want to forward it to people or public group. You can also do it as an attachment. I'm just going to forward it on here, a simple forward. Once I check it, go down and define that people or public group. Click on the link, and there's my public group, Homies, that we learned how to create a uh, public group in an earlier training video. But I want to forward it on to Mr. Humphreys, and there he is. Double click to add him down below, or if you don't have him in your address book, like for contacts or any additional address books here, you can come down below, type in their email address, and then don't forget the delimiter, the semicolon, if you have more than one email address to separate those email addresses, and then click OK. Click Next. Are there any exceptions to this? No. Click Next, and then specify a name for this rule, Carrie Heffernan. Well, that's very detailed. Let's go ahead and delete that and say, OK, I'm kind of texting here. I got some abbreviations from Carrie to me about new investigation. The subject, FW Ford, Mr. H. Let's go ahead and Turn the rule on, yes, leave it checked, click Finish, click OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and have Carrie send me an email message that has new investigation in the subject. Let's come up here, click Send Receive to receive that, and it didn't come in the inbox. Do you know why? It sent it over to my personal folder, and it's right there, New Investigation. And it also, you see that blue arrow pointing to the right? Looks just exactly like the forward option here, so it was forwarded on to Mr. Humphreys. To really know if it got forwarded on to him because it doesn't say it here, you can go ahead and double click to open it up and you can see it was forwarded on that date and that time, so just like seconds ago. But to find out if it really went on to Mr. Humphreys, remember, anytime you send off a message, even if it's done automatically, a copy of it stored in your sent items folder, and there we go, Mr. Humphreys, new investigation. So what's the deal? Well, if you have more than one rule going on at the same time as I do, let me go back to my inbox here. It looks cleaner. Click on the rules drop down arrow, go to manage rules and alerts, and there we go. So we did this earlier that when we see investigation or research in the subject, move it to the personal folder. So it moved it, and then it went ahead and it forwarded it on to carry when it saw new investigation in the subject. So we have multiple rules going on here to move and forward. You could just go crazy with all these rules. So if I don't want that to happen again, well, I can uncheck it, in which case it's no longer active. So when I get another email message, it just comes right to the inbox, and it doesn't get moved over to the folder as it shows the action here, dumping it into a folder. Or I can delete it altogether. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that and not have moved anymore. 
and as well as not forwarding it on anymore for new investigations. Mr. H is not a spooky client, so let's get rid of that. And nasty or potty words, they don't send me that, so I don't have to worry about that. And we have no rules. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.